at Cloud Next. I'm with Dimitris. Hello, Dimitris. Thank you for being here Hi, with us. Hi, nice to be here. And he's going to talk to us about building Gen AI apps faster and better with Vertex AI, right? Exactly. Great. So before we get into that, can you give a brief description of yourself and what you do here at Google and then give us a little synopsis of your talk? Yeah, so my name is Dimitris Meretakis. I am a product manager within uh, Cloud AI and I'm focusing mostly on search and document AI. So the topic is about the following. We see a lot of developers building generative applications for enterprises. And one of the key aspects there is uh, grounding. In other words, how do you make those applications uh, reliably access the right enterprise data in order to produce responses which are accurate and consistent? We also see that um, in trying to build those applications, there is a number of technical challenges that developers have to face, and uh, they come up again and again. So what we are talking about in this talk is uh, we're launching a number of um, new APIs and some improvements to existing services to effectively solve those technical challenges. And uh, we hope that developers who adopt those APIs can um, can use them in order to lighten the load there and focus really building what is really unique for their own use case. As a developer, I love to hear that. When you can help me make my job a little simpler and let me do the stuff that I really That's love. That's why we're yeah. here. Wonderful. Okay, so walk me through some of these new Vertex AI APIs. Yeah, there are quite many actually. There are six things that we are talking about today. So um, the first one is the Document Understanding API. So most of those applications, they have to process large amounts of documents that come on all sorts of weird, complicated formats. You know, there are sections and subsections and tables and complicated graphs. And typically we see that um, uh, such documents create problems for retrieval and um, answer generation components. So this first API is um, using our know-how from Doc.ai to understand the documents, understand the structure, and um, help them improve the quality of, the, of, the, of those applications. The second one is a, a significant improvement in our embedding API. Our Gecko models exist since some time. Uh, we are launching some improvements that make those models some of the most performant in the market. They are now some of the leaders in the corresponding um, leaderboards. Um, the third one is around vector search. Vector search is our, um, I think, one of the most performant and uh, scalable and cost-efficient uh, applications for doing embedding retrieval. So we are enhancing this um, with this launch to enable hybrid search, which gives extra tools for developers to improve the quality of their applications. Uh, the fourth launch is about uh, a ranking API. It's a very elegant concept where when you have a question and you retrieve a bunch of uh, results from your, from your search, this API is uh, effectively checking how each of the results is, how good is it in answering that question. And this helps you basically bubble up the most relevant information in order to improve the quality of the answers that your uh, LLM model will produce at the end. The fifth one is um, a, um, a grounded generation API. It's uh, using the, uh, the power of Gemini, and it's a fine-tuned model which is specialized exactly in taking a question, taking a bunch of evidence, and producing well-grounded and uh, answers with citations to the reference information. And uh, the last one, is an API that we call Check Grounding. And uh, this is used to basically fact check uh, a statement against a number of facts. So basically you have a statement, it can be produced by a human or even a, a language model. And this API will check every sentence of that statement against all the evidence that you might provide to it to say this statement is supported by result number three or in, uh, in an upcoming launch to say that actually I do find some contradicting evidence. This statement is not only irrelevant, it's actually negative. So that's all. 
Just six things. That's all. Just six new Vertex AI APIs. Amazing. Wow. Each one of those sounds really wonderful and like something I'd like to hey, try imagine out. Imagine if you use all together. Yes, yeah. exactly. Right, so in terms of all of these APIs, what are some of the standout features that set them apart? Yeah, good question. Um, I think there are two, two main things. The first is quality. For these things to exist, they need to produce the right results. <laughs> the second thing is the... Um, those APIs embed a lot of our Google know-how. So we try to select uh, problems that are popular enough, big enough, coming frequent enough from developers, but also where we can actually add some of our uh, special knowledge to produce uh, solutions that solve the problem really, really well. And, and you can see that, for example, if you take the document understanding API, it's based on uh, years of investment on document AI, and also in our uh, deep understanding of how, what kind of processing do you need to do to document in order to have a high performing search. Another example is the um, um, vector search. Vector search, we are, you know, we are proud about how the efficiency and the scale it can achieve. And this is because it's uh, effectively using the technology that some of our planet scale applications use for, for Google. YouTube is using this technology, Google Ads is using this technology. So we bring really something unique to the, to the market with this solution. Um, and then if you take the, uh, the ranking API or the ground generation API, they, they are implementing concepts that we have already available in our Google websites, the, the consumer product, uh, since years for producing good results and lately for producing uh, generative responses for sense. Wonderful. Okay, so they're high quality and they're unique and really focused on problems that users face significantly. We hope we sprinkled a little bit of Google magic on those as well. Yes, a little Google magic sprinkled on there. Love that. Great. Okay, so in terms of using these APIs, how can developers kind of seamlessly integrate these APIs into their workflow? Yes. Um, yeah, we we designed those APIs as kind of primitives, very um, simple, standalone, uh, stateless APIs with uh, clear interfaces so that a developer can easily uh, try them, understand them, apply them to the problem and see if it works. We hope that it does work and then use them. We are also um, investing in integrating them in um, popular frameworks like Langchain or uh, Llama Index so that developers can prototype with them, but also combine them with other APIs from third parties, open source as well, to build together the solutions they want to, to build. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, Dimitris, and telling us all about these new APIs. And uh, have a great rest of your next. Thank you very much. Everybody.